Hey guys, this is Alex C, and today we're taking a look at a handgun that, to me, represents the frontier spirit of the late 1800s America, and lies perfectly at the junction between beauty and functionality. This is the Colt Single Action Army, also known as the Peacemaker. A wise man once said this is the greatest handgun ever made. Six bullets, more than enough to kill anything that moves. If you get this reference, you are awesome. Single Action Army functions just about like any other single action you'll find on the market today, with the distinctive four clicks when you cock the hammer, the first one being the safety notch, second one being so you can load it or unload it, a third one, which I really don't know what it does, and then the fourth one means ready to fire. To load it, you open the loading gate, take it to the second notch, take the cylinder to where you want to unload it, and then there is a slide on the front to remove the spent cartridges. So with that quick overview, let's hit the range. All right, so now that I've talked a little bit about the Colt Single Action Army, we've got Patrick R. out here. And uh, Patrick, you've never owned a single action revolver. No, yeah. no. Um, now you've owned quite a few double action revolvers. Uh, not a, quite a few, but uh, I think I've had two or three. And you've got a Colt Python, which is arguably the pinnacle of what a double action revolver yep. can be. Um, which is also a Colt, which is nice. Um, general handling impressions of the Single Action Army, what do you think? Uh, it's extremely pointable. Um, yeah, I really like it. It feels at home. Okay. And um, obviously you know how to work the single action army, the loading gate and everything. Not yeah. too strange to get accustomed to. No, it's not. Um, it's a little fiddly, but you know, given the time period that it was designed in, I think it was a, it's a pretty solid choice. But does it feel better than the Gant revolver? <laughs> Anything does. A rock does. But you can't suppress this one, so I'd like to throw that out there. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. Anyways, um, let's say we get to shooting. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and take a couple shots with the uh, single action army. And, uh, well, you know, in the cowboy movies, you always see them shooting from the hip. So I'm going to give it a shot on my first shot. Way high. We're not doing that anymore. Man, I like that a lot. Trigger's fantastic. Um, you know, pulling the hammer back's really, you know, very instinctive. You know, decocking the gun, it's not hard either. Um, all in all, I really like it. I wish they uh, were more common. I guess they are kind of common. All right, loading the single action arm is pretty straightforward. You pull it back to the second click, to the half cock position, open the loading gate, slide around in, rotate the cylinder, and repeat the process. Thankfully, the 45 Colt that we're using in this revolver is a pretty big round, and it's not as fiddly as the Nagant revolver was to load. So there you go. Put it down there. All right, so the video wouldn't be complete without one of us trying to fan the revolver. Um, and I've, Alex was mistaken earlier. I actually have a tiny little NAA uh, single-action revolver, but it doesn't really match you know, or qualify, I don't think. But um, I've tried fanning that, and it's a lot of fun, so let's give this one a go. All right. That's a little terrifying. It's, it's not quite as pointable as a uh, modern semi-auto for me. I just don't have as much time on something like this. But um, it's still, kind of, I mean, it's fun, but uh, a little bit nerve-wracking. All right, guys. So we just got done at the range with the uh, Colt Single Action Army, and I have to say, I I'm sad that it took me this long to get behind one. I, I really enjoyed it a lot. 
You know, guys, uh, to be honest, I would put a nice single action revolver on your gun bucket list. I think everyone needs to shoot a nice single action revolver at least once up there. To me, it's as important as shooting an M1 Grand once in your life. Right, yes. As far um, as, well, maybe it's just me being a Texan and this is kind of close to my heart as, you know, the cowboy culture and stuff. But. Right, right. Uh, you know, one thing that does kind of keep people off of these things, though, is the price. I think they're a pretty princely sum, I believe. Uh, Colt is still making these. Um, I checked Gunbroker, and you can get a new in-box one for about 1500 However, there are so many used ones out there. For example, this one was made in 1993, and you can get second-gen, third-gen ones for way under $1,500. Um, and, of course, there's other, other great single actions on the market. There are, yes. uh, Ruger makes a fantastic firearm called the, the Black Hawk Revolver. I'm sure most of you are familiar with that. But it's every bit as much a gun as this one. Yes. Uh, I mean, I've had an opportunity to handle a Black Hawk, and I'd say that they're pretty darn close. Um, and I think they offer convertible versions of that as well. They do, and also this comes in 45 Colt, it comes in 4440, it comes in, um, uh, you know, all sorts of calibers, 38, 357. However, I wanted the original, you know, 45 Colt just because, to me, that's correct and kind of cool. Yeah, no, I agree. I mean, it's, it's such a hard hitting round. So our, our steel plate was really kind of moving quite a lot whenever we'd, we'd connect. Absolutely, guys. Um, rounding out a revolver collection, if you're a revolver guy, uh, single action is, is one of those that I think you need to have. Um, yeah, if you're a revolver guy, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Be it a single action army, a Black Hawk, or what have you. But um, I think we'll close out the video by saying that we just had a great time shooting this, you know. Yeah. Uh, some guns we come out here and it seems like a chore, but I honestly felt like, uh, I, I, let's just put it this way, I had a great time with this. Well, I don't know about you, but uh, shooting is never a chore for me. And, <laughs> but I mean, I really did enjoy shooting the Black. Uh, well, the, uh, I guess I should rephrase army. that. When I shoot a gun like the Nagant revolver, it kind of just makes me think, uh, oh, A gosh, workout, let's, sure. Let's finish this video up and get to the next cool one. Right. You know? yeah. Well, I mean, a workout, sure, but never a chore. <laughs> right. Um, but, you know, if you have an opportunity to get behind one, go ahead and do it. You know, you won't regret it. Anyways, guys, uh, I'd like to thank Ventura Munitions for providing the ammo for this test. Yep, and Grizzly Targets for providing their top AR-500 steel targets. Absolutely, guys. I'm Alex C. Patrick R. Thanks for watching TFP TV. Hope to see you next time.